Hey guys, this is Yvonne from Go Yvonne. Today I will teach you 10 useful sentences and 10 useful words for when you're going to travel in China. As you might know, English is not spoken yet throughout the whole country, so it can be hard to get around in China when you don't speak the language. So I hope with these 10 sentences and 10 words that your travel experience will be a bit easier here in China. We're going to start off a bit easy. I'm going to teach you and show you how to count from 1 to 10 in Chinese. So the Chinese, they actually use one hand to count from 1 to 10. E, R, San, Si, Wu, Liu, Chi, Ba, Jiu, Shi, Shi. When you can count to ten with one hand, you can actually count to one hundred using two hands. Let's say something costs twenty-three yuan. Two fingers for twenty and three for three. Sixty-five. Six in one hand and five in the other hand. Sixty-five. Let's move on to the words. You want to say hello to somebody, so we start with saying ni hao. Ni hao. Another very useful word. Thank you. Xie xie. Xie xie. You finished your bowl of noodles and you paid your bill. You want to say bye. Zai jian. In Chinese, there are two words that are mostly used to say yes, to confirm something. The first one is shi, shi. The second one, dui, dui. Three ways to say no, which are the most used. The first one, bu, bu. The second one, meo, meo. And the third one, bu shi, bu shi. If you are in a restaurant and you want to call the waiter to come over to your table to take your order, you say Fu Yan. Fu Yan. Chances are you don't know how to use chopsticks. You're like struggling with your noodles and you're getting frustrated, you're hungry, you just want to eat your meal. You can ask for a fork, no problem. A fork, cha, cha. Be careful though with the pronunciation here because cha. Um, if you pronounce it wrong, you might be saying cha, when it, and then it means tea. So don't be too surprised if they give you a cup of tea instead of a fork. Just try again and maybe use some actions. Act it out. Also, a very useful word to know, fan dian. Fan dian. This means restaurant. If you want to say excuse me, there's two ways to say this. Qing wen. Qing wen. Or guo yi se. If you would like to apologize for something, you can you say "对不起, As you will probably know, here in China you cannot drink water from the tap. Instead, you need to buy a bottle of water. How do you ask for a bo bottle of water? Yi After drinking all that water, you will probably have to go to the bathroom. Xi xiu jian zai Xishou jian zai nar. Now you, you can say a few sentences and a few words. Chances are the Chinese think you're fluent. But no, you're not, so you want to say that you don't understand it. Wo bu ming bai. Wo bu ming bai. When traveling in Saru, first you ask about the price before you purchase something. Right? Duo shao qian. Duo shao qian. In certain areas, especially touristy areas, People can be pushy and trying to convince you to buy their products. Most likely you don't want them, so you just say 不要. 不要. 不要 literally means I don't want it, don't want. At the beginning, I said that not everybody here speaks English yet. But some people do. How to find out? You will ask them, 你会说英文吗? 你会说英文吗? Let's say you're paying your bill at the restaurant and you're handing over your money to the Fu Yan, the waitress, and she says, thank you, 谢谢. 
You can reply by saying Bukachi. Bukachi. It means you're welcome. And last sentence. Wo bu chi rou. I don't eat meat. I don't eat meat. Wo bu chi rou. Well, these were the numbers 1 to 10. 10 useful sentences and 10 useful words for when you're traveling in China. I hope you think they're useful and that you will use them a lot when traveling in China. If you thought this video was helpful, thumbs up and let me know down in the comments how and if you use these words and how they worked for you. Thanks for watching. Bye!